today we're going to polish the Focus. I've already polished the passenger side of this car. And you'll probably see in the video already there's quite a good reflection of the car. Where we've got like a mirror finish. That's what the polish does. It creates a smooth reflective finish on the car. Also helps to buff out any scratches. So there were quite a few scratches in this area here. There's now hardly any trace of that left. It's a little trace there which we could keep polishing it and that should get those minor scratches out. And yeah, it's given a lovely sparkly finish to the car. You can even polish the plastic parts. So here we've got the wing mirror surround, which is a black gloss plastic. That's polished up quite nicely. Uh, so there's a similar piece here on the B pillar. That was dull and cloudy and white before. Now it's bright gloss black. And also the lights as well. So any smooth finish you've got, this plastic, you can probably polish it. So again, these were cloudy, but now they're nice and bright. We'll compare this to the other side, which hasn't been polished yet. I don't know how well it's quite in the video. But that triangle there is quite white, almost grey in colour. The lights don't look too bad, but certainly not as uh, bright and shiny as the other side. This is kind of grey in colour, this trim down here. And also generally the paintwork, you can see lots of little scratches on the car. These should polish out, if not I'll crack out the tea cut and uh, that will certainly remove any scratches we've got on the car. As you can see, not quite as shiny on this side and uh, preparation is key because they say buyers make up their mind within the first 20 seconds of seeing a car where they're going to buy it. So you really want your first impression to be a good one. And having a car that's polished as opposed to a car that's not, it's certainly going to make a difference. Most people don't bother to do this, but um, for an hour of your time, it's a great investment and your car's likely to sell a lot quicker. Quick video on how to polish a car. You'll need a off cloth for after you've polished the area, an on cloth for applying the polish to the car, and obviously some car polish. That's about enough polish you want to put on the polishing cloth. I'll just demonstrate quickly how to apply it. So, onto dry bodywork, in a circular motion, applying some pressure. You want to use some force when applying this. The more force you apply, the better the finish you'll get. So, that's about enough polish to do an area roughly that size. We'll leave that to dry to a hard haze. That'll take about two minutes to do and then we will buff it off with this. Um, putting the polish on with this cloth is the hard part, and that should take some elbow grease. Taking it off with the off cloth will be very easy. Repeat the process several times until you've got a nice mirror finish on your car. Okay, good luck. We are going to use T-Cut on these more severe scratches on the Ford Focus. So what you'll need, you need a damp, soft cotton cloth to put the T-Cut on with, and you'll need another soft cotton cloth to wipe the teacut off with after about waiting maybe 30 seconds for it to dry to a little bit of a haze. Apply your teacut to your damp cloth, then work your cloth into the area with the scratches. You want to apply some elbow grease into these areas and you should be able to see some of the marks, such as the black mark that was there, coming off as you polish it. You may have to repeat this process a few times for stubborn marks and scratches. There's a few light scratches there we haven't done yet. But you want to repeat the process until you've got all your little marks off the car. Alright, let's uh, wait about 30 seconds then buff this off with our clean cloth. This is after our first coat of tea cut. As you can see most of the light scratches are now gone. All the black marks that were in this area are gone. You can uh, go over this area again with a bit more tea cut just to get these uh, minor marks out there. They'll be okay. But marks like this one, where is it? Let's see. This one here, no amount of tea cut or polishing is going to improve this. This mark, a scratch has gone through the paint. So you can see the yellow primer beneath. So what we need to do with that is touch it up. But the smaller marks like these, these should tea cut out very easily. So I'll just give it another two or three coats with the tea cut. 
they should vanish and then I'll put some polish on it to protect it. Easy as that.